After our motorbike trip in northern Vietnam, we headed eight hours south to Ha Long Bay, where we rang in the new year. Bay is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's known for its emerald waters and 2,000 limestone cliffs topped with rainforests. We spent two days and three nights on a cruise ship exploring the beautiful islands. Here we are on Halong Bay. We just got to our cruise, and we're about to stop and do a little kayaking. Now we are kayaking on Halong Bay. Ryan is the pro in the back, and I'm just taking in all these sights. It's been amazing. We've seen some awesome monkeys too hanging out on these rocks. We went kayaking. We went through caves. We're crawling through a cave now. We went swimming and just relaxed on the boat. After our trip in Halong Bay came to an end, we headed to the capital city of Hanoi. Our first stop in Hanoi was to a coffee shop to try the famous Vietnamese egg coffee we had heard so much about. Egg coffee was created in Hanoi as a result of the milk shortage after the war. The egg coffee has a meringue on top. They beat the eggs for about four minutes, so it's really light and you drink to the bottom to the coffee. It's really good. It does not taste eggy at all. After a delicious coffee, we decided to treat ourselves to a little mani pedi. What was your first mani pedi? I think it was nice. Look at my nails. They're so shiny. And they're straight and <laughs> clean. And then went on a long walk around the city. What is it like crossing the streets here? It's like uh, you just gotta close your eyes and go. Looking both ways is uh, useless because they're just always coming. And they don't care about a crosswalk. Not bad. Just gotta, you, gotta, you just gotta go for it. If you look, you're gonna you're gonna hesitate. We're at a vegan bomb restaurant and it's in the back of this alley in someone's house, I think. The cutest little girl runs this place. Here she comes. Hello. <laughs> good? Mm, really good. We made our way back to our hotel in the old quarter and had happy hour on our roof before going out for a night on the town. They're all trying to sell you. Ah. <laughs> We just made our way to Beer Street and we're at this local bar sitting at these plastic tables and plastic chairs and we ordered these draft beers and they cost 5,000 Vietnamese dong which is only 21 cents and right now it's even happy hour buy one get one free so it's 21 cents for two beers you cannot beat this It's so funny, when the police come here, all the ladies selling the beer move their chairs off the street onto the sidewalk. It's like this really fast hustle before the police come. And as soon as they drive by, the, the chairs go right back, they move them back, like a foot yeah. out of the street. As if they never even came, it's really funny. On our second day in Hanoi, we unfortunately both woke up feeling like we were coming down with a cold. Ryan stayed in the room and rested for the morning while I went out for a walk and grabbed a coffee. How are you feeling now? Better. Well, Tired, better. but better, yeah. Good. All right. We're back. I got Ryan. He's feeling better. We're going to go get massages. Oh, by the way, while I was gone walking around this morning, I got some new shoes, some Nikes, some Fikies, they're not real Nikes, I, for $12. Show them the wings on the back. <laughs> yeah, they got some little wings going back here. I think I can run faster, so that's good. They're aerodynamic, yeah. <laughs> so 
mean one though. Thank you. Alright. We just had Bon Me 25 for lunch, which was a Bon Me restaurant that I read about online. It was supposed to be one of the best ones in Hanoi. And we got there and it was so crowded with a bunch of foreigners. And it was pretty good, but it wasn't any better than just the Bon Me stands on the side of the road. Now we're heading to the St. Joseph's Cathedral and then to Train Street and where else? Um, the Literature Literature Temple. Temple. Yeah. And here we are at St. Joseph's Cathedral. So we just visited this cathedral and it was nice. We walked around it and then got to walk inside. And Ryan read on one of the little plaques that they started the first Vietnam lottery in order to pay for it. And at the time it only cost 200,000 Vietnamese dong, dong dollars, which is only eight US dollars today. Anyways, now we're off to the Temple of Literature. So this Temple of Literature is one of the only temples that is devoted to education. Most are for religion. Okay, we just left the temple and now we're at the Haolo prison and we have 30 minutes to see it because it closes at 5. This prison was originally used by French colonists for political prisoners and later by North Vietnam for U.S. prisoners during the Vietnam War. John McCain was kept here as well as other U.S. military members. The prison was demolished during the 1990s but now the gatehouse still remains as a museum. What do you think of the museum? I thought the museum was very eerie. It was very eerie. Very eerie. Seeing yeah. the cells, very somber, yeah. sad. Definitely. But I'm glad we went. I am too. I never would have ever learned about that. Um, we don't learn about this side of the Vietnam War in American school. Exactly. Thanks for taking me. After our eye-opening visit to the Prism Museum, we found a popular local restaurant for appetizers before dinner. Every night near our hotel, there's this restaurant that sells only snails, and the line has been so long, and it's only locals, and we got to see here tonight, so we're trying some authentic snails here in the old quarter. <laughs> ah. Technique. Wow, you like swirl it out. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you dip it? Yeah, there's like a sauce. They put a bunch of chili sauce in here. Good. On our last morning in Hanoi, we both woke up with fevers and our colds getting worse. We were ready for our travel day to be over and to get some rest at home. Unfortunately, that would not be happening anytime soon because we made a terrible mistake. Just thought I'd give a quick update. Ryan and I are at the airport here in Hanoi and it is currently 11.30 in the morning and we thought our flight left at 1 in the afternoon but it actually left this morning at 1 a.m. So now we're trying to find a way to get back home. We think we might have to wait around here for 12 hours so Ryan just went to go find a ticket counter and yeah, it kind of sucks but here we are. Any luck? I couldn't find the counter. Morale is very low. Yes. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Yeah. We can check in. Is it possible to go through before then, or we must wait on this side? Can we can go we, through security? Can we go can through we... security and wait in the other side? No. At 10, 10 p.m. though we can. We were able to book two flights back to Korea at 1 a.m. So that's about 10 hours from now. So we found a sleep pod here in the airport that we're going to check into for the next 10 hours. For the next 10 hours. It's cozy, right? Approximately 10 hours later. How's my wing? Oh, it's good. Nice. Four or five till we can check into our flight. And just three hours until that takes off. Ooh. 
can check into our flight at 10 and it's now 9.54. Uh, we spent the last 10 hours in this capsule hotel and we're off to go check in. You know it's a good video when you start with oof. Mm. oof. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Okay, thank you.